Since the inception of three-letter sports organizations and leagues, there have been a plethora of athletes around the world, specifically in the United States of America, that have engaged in what I like to call uh, nigga activity. When you don't start tripping and shit, call me a racist, because I don't mean nigga in a disrespectful way. I, I mean it as a general term for ignorant mother. As you saw there, I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. I mean that as a term for ignorant person, ignorant individual, athlete, if you will. Well, this story I'm about to talk about covers a former NBA guard who has been accused of some very ignorant activity, which was dumb on his part. It was lowbrow, it was petty, but he decided to engage his activity. And because of that, an individual in the NBA that seems to have, might have been a rising star is now crashing and burning at terminal velocity. So let's get into it because this was truly sad, but his punishment, his consequence is necessary. It's just, and well, it should be a, a story, something that we all can learn from, all right? So let's get into it. And on that note, welcome to Normieville. I, I can't say anymore. I, I'm probably already in trouble for mentioning it to a, uh, well, we call you normies. Well, well, well. Another athlete that has decided to end his career on the stupidest, if that's a word, the dumbest note that you could. All right? Like I said, a lot of players have done some crazy things over the years. Uh, no O.J. Simpson. Uh, who else? Uh, Aaron Hernandez. Uh, most notably. But there's a lot of others. Uh, let's see here. Michael Vick. A whole bunch of other people. A lot of football, some basketball that have done some dumb things. None of them were justified in my opinion, but it is what it is, okay? We got now Michael, I'm sorry, Michael Irvin. He's being once again accused of, you know, some dastardly deeds. He just got out of another out of a case earlier. It's all bad, okay? But in any case, this man here seems to have fumbled the bag in, like I said, the dumbest way possible. As you can see here from The Athletic, former Wizards and Warriors guard, Ryan Collins accused of shoplifting at Target. Target acquired. Lock his ass up. Lock his ass up. <laughs> You're going to jail. You're, You're going, going to jail. Shoplifting. Now, this young man is making hundreds of thousands, not millions of dollars. And when you see what he stole from this establishment, you're going to be like, he couldn't just buy that stuff. I mean, it wasn't, when you see it, he didn't like steal a Rolex, you know, he didn't try to steal like a gold chain or something or something high dollar, right? He didn't try to, you know, buy some high dollar furniture, steal some high dollar furniture or something. You see what he stole. It's gonna be like this man threw his whole his whole career away for this. Bitch, ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. Let's get into it. Alexandria VA, former Washington Wizards guard Ryan Watt, R nah, Ryan Rollins, who was waived by the team Monday night, is accused of repeatedly shoplifting from a Target store according to documents on a file at Alexandria General District Court obtained by The Athletic. Police said in court documents that Rollins stole small household items such as groceries, body wash, and candles from a Target store on seven different occasions from September 9th to November 9th when he was on the Wizards roster. Bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. Like, bro, like. Now, I want you to let that marinate for just a second. Like I said, he didn't steal anything high dollar, you know, gold chains, you no know, bracelets, you know, uh, a Rolex. He didn't do any kind of you no know, money embezzlement or anything like that, right? He stole body wash, groceries, and candles. Now, I know some of these players are down bad. Some of them, right? They got paid child support. Some of them might be married or divorced, got to pay alimony and things of that nature. So I understand some of these guys, uh, people like Joe Smith or whatever, back in the day, they didn't make good financial decisions with maybe real estate or something like that. So I get it, right? So some of them are down bad. They got to make some difficult decisions financially, but candles, body wash, and groceries? This is petty stuff, right? He was charged with seven counts of petty larceny and items alleged to have been stolen in each end incident valued at less than a thousand dollars. Bitch, ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. Less than a thousand dollars. 
the stuff that he stole in these individual instances wasn't even enough to be a felony. He would just, it, is it possible he was just stealing just because he just wanted to get away with it because he's a young kid and he hasn't got that immaturity out of me. Like, you know what, let me see if I can do this. Remember the Ball Brothers when they was in Hong Kong they got accused of stealing some stuff? I think like, like a Gucci or Louis bag or some shit like that. And it's like, you are you would think that that kind of, you know, activity, that kind of mentality would be out of them. And this goes a, across color, okay? You would think that this kind of petty criminality would be out of them now they've made it big but instead it's like they want to try to get away with it now they're big they're, now they're bigger they want to see if they can still get away with it it's crazy petty larceny of goods worth less than a thousand dollars from a business is classified as a class one misdemeanor in virginia a court hearing has been scheduled for early february and rollins has yet to enter a plea probably guilty rollins attorney nathan Mus munskins an agent i'm sorry Rawls attorney Nathan Muskins and agent Mike Silverman, uh, cute Kanye. I'm not going to say what race, what people, we know I can't say that. Declined to comment when reached Thursday by the athletic. So he's going to go to court. He has yet to enter a plea. I'm sure be guilty because, you know, you're in talking, you're in a uh, major department chain. I'm pretty sure they got cameras everywhere. So they caught you red handed, I'm sure. Right. You figured me out. You got me red handed. And I mean, uh, here's where the part where he throws the where he throws his whole career away right here. The words is Wave Rollins, 21 years old. Bitch, God ain't damn. No ain't no fucking way. 21 years old. Hasn't even reached his peak yet. Matter of fact, just get out the blocks. The words is Wave Rollins, 21 on Monday night after he played 10 regular season games. The reserve guard came to the Wizards as part of a trade package over the summer with Washington trading Chris Paul to the Golden State Warriors and receiving Jordan Poole, Rollins, Patrick Baldwin, a 20, 27 second round pick and a top 20 protected 20, 30 first round pick. Wow. So he got traded from the Golden State, no Warriors to the Wizards. It happens every day in, in, in sports. He got traded in a particular package but the fact that you're still good enough to be in the league, you no know, speaks volumes. Everybody, I wouldn't say like less than 20, less than 1% makes it to you no know, professional sports, you no know, in general across all three letter organizations. So you're already set right there. You're making more than most people in the, um, in America. And you throw it away to steal items that are valued less than a thousand dollars. Ain't that some Releasing Rollins, a young player with clear potential on the defensive end, seemed like a curious move for the rebuilding Wizards who ranked last in the NBA in points allowed per possession and may trade veteran players before the upcoming NBA trade deadline on February 8th. Quote, we just recently learned of the charges against Ryan, monumental basketball president Mike Winger, told the Athletic, quote, we cannot comment on that matter or the basis or roster decisions winger added we do not we do take our role very seriously as citizens of the dmv representatives of our fans and a team our community can be proud of these ex you know, these are expectations not aspirations we're eager to move forward with our team as constructed as const constituted and pursue excellence on and off the court on tuesday using the roster spot created by ron's release the wizard signed guard Hammond do Dialo to a 10 day contract. <sighs> so the league had to make the team had to make a decision. The team brass had to make a decision on this guy. He's been caught stealing. Uh, he's a young player. He probably didn't have a lot of stock in our team in the first place. And he's easily replaceable. Like most people in most organizations, whether you're an athlete or whether you're in the corporate world or a blue collar in today's economy, everybody's looking for a job. So you're easily replaced if you do something that the company, that the bottom line feels is disrespectful, is foul, it's gonna go against the brand, the shield or whatever, okay? So they let you go, they put somebody else in your spot because you're not that big of a name anyway, and life goes on. Meanwhile, you fumble probably the biggest chance, the biggest opportunity in your entire life. Rollins, 1.7 million salary for the 2023-24 season was 
fully guaranteed. Jesus. And 600,000 of his sal of his 2024-25 salary is fully guaranteed. Now the Rollins has clear waivers those salaries which are minuscule relative to the NBA salary cap would count against the Wizards cap figures in those respective seasons. Rollins originally went to the Warriors in a draft night trade after Atlanta Hawks led him 44th overall in 2022 out of the University of Toledo. He appeared in 12 regular season games for the Wizards as a rookie. So again, you were lucky enough to make it out of the draft and get selected to a major to a professional team and a prestigious team like the Warriors, which has a winning pedigree, much like the Lakers and other places, places that have, I would say, a stout work ethic, you know, you get traded to the Warriors, and it is what it is. You're still on the NBA roster. You're still playing. You're still getting minutes. You're still getting money. And what do you do? You go to Target. You steal groceries and body wash, et cetera. You get arrested. Now you're back on the couch. Uh, another story of, you know, falling somebody falling from grace, but they stepped on their own wiener, Okay. You live by, you die by it, as they say in the hood, all those kind of things, right? You read what you sow, actions have consequences, right? You're free to make your own decisions, but you're not free from the consequences, as we see right here. Mr. Rollins made his decision, and now he's out looking for a job. Maybe they could pay the place that he stole from a target. Maybe they can hire him for a job. Maybe he can, you know, bag somebody's toiletries in their groceries since he's no longer in the league. Who knows, huh? Thank you for attending another episode of Normieville. You know me. I'm just a Normie here to bring you the latest and greatest in sports news, entertainment, and politics, mainly sports. Let me know what you think about this man epically fumbling the bag for items under $1,000. Fumbling millions of dollars for under $1,000. Let me know what you think about this down in the comment section. And please, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell on your way out of the door, and I will see you on the next video.